good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we are completing our wwe elite series 100 2 in 1 reviews on becky lynch and Rey mysterio i think a lot of people would probably argue i don't know maybe not i was gonna say maybe i know becky lynch is probably the number one contender for the worst figure or the least favorite figure from this set but i feel like Rey mysterio might enter that company simply because i know a lot of people are probably just over the fact that we get so many Rey mysterios besides the big Rey mysterio fans i mean i'm all for his figures they're usually really 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 good and he has so many looks but yeah i mean in the last year to year and a half to two years we have seen legitimately like 14 Rey mysterio elites so that's kind of insane but nonetheless man we're going to knock this thing out and of course we do have a my damn thoughts episode on this and i'm probably going to do like a six in one overall massive review of elite series 100 that will be coming out shortly and you guys can ride through that if you would like or you could not uh you know that's a, that's that's a, that's completely up to you brad nonetheless man if you guys would like to grab these figures you already like what you see and you want to grab these or you just want to pick up some other great wwe action figures go over to ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent when shopping over there lots of great deals going on over there man so definitely get it in but here is our two figures we have becky lynch here i'm gonna be honest i think a lot of people were baffled when they saw her in the set i like the white gear i like the new updated championship figure looks pretty good mock because like the white gear with the white title and then the whiteness around the the whole package really wraps it together but you have Becky on the side there. On the top, it does say WWE Elite logo, and then it has the foil 100 right there, which is always classy and nice. Becky Lynch on the side, certified authentic. Nice illustrative artwork on the side. Nice illustration on the back with Jonathan Bartlett's things. You got the rest of the figures in the wave. We have reviewed the rest of the figures. If you guys want to check out those reviews, I'd greatly appreciate it. And then there's a little bio read on the back. If you guys would like to read it, you can pause it now. And then we have Rey Mysterio here, and I have lots of different things about this figure we're going to get into, of course, but here he is, another brand new championship. Rey Mysterio here, another illustration, not a real photo, I don't think, but he's on the side, WWE logo, WWE Elite Collection Series 100. Another great illustration on the back. Bio read again, if you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. Same packaging going on, man. I honestly, I gotta get a men on card set of this, but I feel like if I have Elite 100, don't I need Elite 1? I feel like that would complete the set, maybe track down the illustrious and elusive Elite 1 Jeff Hardy figure, I don't know. Nonetheless, man, I've been pretty impressed with Elite 100 so far, but there have been some mid things about the set and i'm very excited for the ranking we're gonna do with not only this wave but hopefully here in the next month or so i will be able to post up ranking every wwe elite main set from series 1 through 100 from worst to best that'll probably be a long video essay but yeah you get the point nonetheless man here is becky lynch and Rey mysterio we're gonna crack them out of their packaging find out what they're all about and see if these guys are are worth a damn so here's Rey Mysterio and Becky Lynch out of their packaging, man, and my god, I have my gripes already. But I do have some bonus things. I got some good things to talk about, so that's good, you know? You, you always want to come into a review and give out the good and the bad, and you're always going to get that here in my reviews, by god. However, man, here's Elite 100, Rey Mysterio and Becky Lynch, and again, just like The Rock and Steve Austin, man, they just do not scream Elite 100. But I guess there's never been an Elite 100, so how could I possibly say that? But at the same time, I don't know. But what we're going to do is run through Becky Lynch's accessories and Becky Lynch, and then we'll take a look at Rey Mysterio's accessories and Rey Mysterio. So let's take care of that. All right, guys, so getting into Becky Lynch's accessories, starting out, let's get into the rubber jacket. Now, while I hate rubber accessories, I actually like the sculpt of this a lot. It's got a lot of texture on it. It's like the beads or the little mini spikes. I think they're just beads or um, buttons all over it. It looks good. It's quality. It feels nice. It's just, it's a, you know, it's, it's kind of a flimsy rubber. It's a little tougher, actually. You're not bending the arms in this. It's not like hard AF plastic but it's still not you're not gonna bend the arms you know what i mean i'd rather have cloth or just don't include it i mean you know what i mean like i, I these do nothing for me personally but maybe you enjoy this but yeah there's the rubber jacket it's you know it's it, it, it exists i can say that next up is the smackdown women's championship now we do have to get the other one in here but this one looks so much better man the gold really accents well i think this looks so much more quality you know you look at the old championships we used to get and you compare them to the new one and you're like how could they get better than this and then they do and it's just wild how that that happens like this is what i'm talking about the bottom one is the pre-existing one and look at it it looks so good you're like how can you get better than that but then you look at this you're like oh damn that that is better so it's smaller more compact it's got more details in it it has the red detailed jewels it's got the gold outline on the wwe logo it's better man it it simply is better and it looks so much more accurate and quality i love this they did a fantastic job on it i'm glad we actually got this and now i mean i, I can retire this what do i need this 
for, you know what I mean? This one is immaculate, and I hope that we get, you know, we're obviously going to get more of these, but this is very, very sick. A like, an outstanding job on this. I guess the next step will be adding side plates or custom side plates, but this is a great championship. Outside of that, you do get your fisted hands. You know, the women's fisted hands, they are smaller, to be more accurate. And then she also comes with mic holding hands, which always make the world go round. You know, the C-grips or the mic holding hands or, yeah. All right, guys, so getting into Becky Lynch, this head sculpt is is not it. I can see a little bit of likeness, but I think it's something to do with the eyes. I, I really don't know exactly what it is. I really do like the hair sculpt, though, how it's like... I don't know, it almost reminds me of like Avatar or something. How it's got like the braid going all the way down. You got like the long locks here. Very good there. I just, I don't know. I feel like the head sculpt just looks a bit odd, you know? And I think everybody's there with it. It's like it has likeness to Becky Lynch, but it's not all the way there. And it just kind of gets lost. It's almost like she has big eyes. And it's just, I, I don't know, man. Becky Lynch is somebody they have always really struggled with. They got her likeness right in Elite 72. And then they've had some basics that look solid. But this one, you know, it's just, it's not that great. I do love this newly sculpted upper torso i like the top and everything like that mine's a bit loose though i will say like look at that i'm barely moving it and it goes so that's that's a bit disappointing but i like it you know my shoulders aren't stuck which is a huge bonus i do have the side gauntlets here in the white which look really great you know i love the gear i think the gear is the best part of the figure to be honest very tight waist i like the gray stripes and everything like this is a very cool gear i like it a lot you got the double jointed arms in there upper thigh cut you got the fish netting the white knee pads this is something that i hate though these white kick pads or not the white kick pad just the sculpt man they always give these women's figures basic kick pads what is that can we get some newly sculpted kick pads is it because they've tried like tooling new feet and they're like they can't stand up but when you flat foot this thing she ends up being like bow-legged a little bit and then her feet aren't completely flat on the ground and when she does a you know if you spread her feet wide her feet can't go you know flat on the ground because there's no ankle pivot on these basic boots and then she ends up looking dumb also i just looked at it these red stripes on the kick pads are completely random but so here's what i'm talking about about the becky lynch you guys can see her feet are a little bit spread apart and this foot is not completely flat on the ground it just looks odd and she looks bow-legged so that's something that always happens on these women's figures because she doesn't have ankle pivot because they're not elite kick pads they're basic kick pads so that's what we end up with so that's something there but the articulation solid my arm again goes up all the way and down all the way she has the double jointed arms in there double bicep swivel like the figure feels solid besides that like kind of upper torso looseness but like she could pose around great knee pads kind of get in the way there and you know she's got kick pad rotation it's just i wish she had elite boots and that upper torso is a bit loose but i like the figure i just god like the gear looks great i think if you head swapped it but let's get into some figure comparisons and then i may head swap it just to look see what it looks like so for your becky lynch figure comparisons here is the elite 85 on the left you have the elite 100 here and then this is the ultimate edition fix up that i did that honestly like her legs are so loose here because i ended up switching the legs like look at this right here but it's still this is probably my favorite looking becky in my collection i just like the head sculpt and the way the the buns there in the ultimate edition arms like i love this but i feel like if you put this head sculpt this may actually not pop off actually now that i thought about it yeah this actually won't pop off how shitty well if you put this head sculpt i want to say i have another one of these head sculpts this is from a basic becky i think this is the best becky lynch head sculpt they've ever done i think if you took that head sculpt and put it on the elite 100 it would look a hell of a lot better i still like this becky the most even though the legs are loose i need to fix that at some date some later date i just you know what i'm saying i gotta i gotta tighten that up but yeah i i still like the elite 100 i think it's quality but yeah they gotta give her a new formula man i mean look at this right here i like, see last time this was painted this time it's sculpted and then she still has the basic boots down here that just it continues man god anyways that's your becky lynch figure comparisons all right guys so getting into Rey mysterio's accessories i mean it's all about the championship man very bare bones accessories but we do get the wcw cruiserweight championship here and it does look very quality i don't have like a ton of issues with the size i think it is pretty pretty quality size you guys can see you got wcw on there very quality you know this is better than coming with the wwe cruiserweight championship right that they used to do man they pumped out a couple of those with they did that a couple times giving us that modern cruiserweight championship but this is still fire you got the wcw on the, on the side plates this is very nice i'm very glad to finally add this to the collection i think this is going to be a pretty highly sought after championship in the wwe elite aftermarket so we will have to you know uh, play that by ear and see but this is very nice and then outside of that man he comes with the oversized ass hands so he comes with regular sized Rey Mysterio hands here for uh he gets mic holding and fists which you're not going to use these or you shouldn't use these with your Rey because they're way too big they look like clown hands
hands. You know those clown shoes? These look like clown hands because they're way too damn big on his on his body. They're not proportionate at all and they look stupid. So, you know, I don't know why they can't fix that. We've seen that multiple times. It's been 30 series. They still can't do it. If he, if he doesn't have gloved hands, he's going to come with oversized hands. It's like a prerequisite in the WWE Mattel Elite action figure creation process. It's like they cannot just go in and custom add hands to the to the thing. It's kind of wild. It's almost like a formula thing. I, I don't even get it, but yeah, these are these are definitely not going on my ray. I'm going to find some smaller hands. You have a few different options. You may be able to use Sasha hands from Elite 83. Actually, let me grab that. Alright, so here's Sasha Bank hands, and uh, yeah, if you compare these, they're very close in skin tone if they're not the exact same skin tone, so I'm just going to plop one of these into the ray and then the other one. So I'm going to take one big hand and one small hand and then plug those into the ray so you guys can see here. Now, will these be too small? They may be too small, you know? That, that may be a thing, but I think I'd rather them be too small than too massive. So let's plop this in here. That's just way better, bro. Like, that looks so much more accurate. So there's that, and then you have this hand. So there is your comparison. For me, I like the t I like the tiny hands better. That's just me, you know? What do I know? Those The, the hand on the right is definitely way too big. But yeah, there's you an option. Should work, uh, I think. You know, it gets the, at least it's, it's a placeholder until I can think of a different formula. All right, man, so getting into Rey Mysterio at the head sculpt, I almost feel like he's, like, slumped a little bit, isn't he? Like, I feel like, I don't know, like, he almost feels a little stumpy or something like that, but I guess not. It's not terrible. I want to say this is a newly sculpted head sculpt. It doesn't look like it, but I want to say it is. I want to say, like, last time, I don't know. I, I'd have to look at it, but I want to say this is new, and uh, if it is new, it's very hard to tell that it's new, but the, the paints look okay. I want to say, like, this color on the attire, in person, I guess it is a little bit more volt looking and it is supposed to be a, like a volt color but going down to the torso same torso we've seen from ray this is before he had all the tattoos obviously so we're not going to see all those i hate that this uh this right here how the paint deco why couldn't they include newly sculpted like bicep bands they've given it to us so many times i know they're obviously not as modern their throwback but that would have really made it man like having it painted on the shoulder right there is kind of odd because when you turn it obviously the the point of the cross is still right there so that's kind of annoying but you do have the bicep bands on there you got the tattoos again a kind of an odd choice but you know we're dealing with 20 25 buck retail figures but at the same time they've done it in the past so you do have the gauntlets on the sides we've seen these before with the elite 32 ray and before i think it was the elite 72 as well but they look good you got the vault color on the crotch and the you know like the different pieces here this green here is a lot more green than this this is like almost i guess like a riddler green and then this is more of like a volt looking color like a yellowish greenish volt color and then you have the red and the white pretty cool stuff I also forgot to mention they do have like the stitching on the back of the mask which is very quality feels good you can feel like the stitches on there that's a nice detail as well figure does feel immaculate and he also has these new boots i think these are newly sculpted i don't think he had these on his elite 32 figure so these are new but i mean the figure feels fantastic as they always do if you're in a competition say you're an action figure and you're in a competition with a Rey Mysterio figure and the competition happens to be how good you feel in the hand you're probably effed okay I mean that's that's kind of how I feel about it I mean he just feels like he can just do it all you know what I mean he's not loose he's very compact he feels good he has oversized hands he looks a bit stumpy in the neck shoulder area but overall the quality and the feel of the figure is by far some of the best that Mattel made all right guys so for your Rey Mysterio figure comparisons I wanted to go with like this torso so with these kind of legs kind of looks I don't have the Elite 32 Ray. Every time I've had it, I've turned into a custom. That's been twice now, I think, so I do need to get that back in the collection. But you have the Elite 72. I said that this had the sculpted gauntlets from Elite 72. The figure that I was thinking of was the Elite 67 Ray, so I do apologize for that. But here's the Elite 67 Ray, which is also WCW. You have the Elite 100, the Legends, and the Top Talents over here. So, of course, we've had many others. You've had the Elite 69 Ray, a couple more Top Talents, the Elite 92. I mean, there's so many damn Ray Mysterios. I didn't want to put them all up here but these are kind of very similar i wish i had the elite 32 to compare but yeah i mean putting all the gloved hands on these makes it more proportionate you guys can see the oversized hands here but it just looks a bit stumpy in the neck am i wrong about that like it's the head sits too low maybe i mean it needs to be up a little bit but i would love to see a maskless wcw ray highly doubt that ever happens i i mean i guess it could happen but i would be shocked i'd be shocked if they went with that but it would still be very dope but ray mysterio what a goat just an 
absolute unit. Very, very sick. But yeah, they're going to keep giving them to us. Uh, uh, Rey Mysterio, what a baller. Very toyetic, unlimited gears, unlimited mask options. I mean, this guy does it all, and uh, here we are with another example. I, uh, You know, this Elite 100, not my favorite. Uh, you know, a little bit plain Jane, but you do get the WCW Cruiserweight Championship. But I think that pretty much is going to wrap up our 2-in-1 Elite 100 Becky Lynch and Rey Mysterio review. Not complete crap, but I think I am struggling overall with just the overall well-being of Elite 100 and just how underwhelming I guess it is. Becky Lynch is not as bad as... I, do, I still think they struggle with Becky Lynch's head sculpts. I think you're better off popping one of her basic head sculpts on there. Her ultimate head sculpts are god-awful. Probably one of the worst ultimates they've done for sure. But if you pop one of her other head sculpts on there, I think it really completes it. I like the hairstyle and everything like that. I just think that the eyes have something weird going on. They kind of have like a Tomb Raider PS2 look or something. I don't know what's going on there. Love the gear. You guys know that. I mean, that's epic for me. I feel like the upper torso is super loose for me for some reason. I wish they would go away from these basic boots that give Becky Lynch all the time. Like, my God. Get away from the basic boots, man. Give her some different kick pads. There's got to be a different formula. Like, there's, there's kick pads out there, right? Like, do Alexa Bliss kick pads not work? Or Natalia kick pads not work? Or Sasha Banks kick pads? Or maybe they use... I know some of them use the same kick pads. But I feel like there's something out there they could use. Maybe Kyrie Sane or something. Actually, Kyrie Sane kick pads may actually make the... Like, lower legs and kick pads may make this figure elite. But I love the gear. The white and gray is super clean. Head sculpt is mid at best. Love the SmackDown Championship. Not a big fan of the rubber jacket. Upper torso is loose. I'm just glad the arms don't get stuck, for the love of God. That was a big issue with women's figures for me. And then the Rey Mysterio. Unless, you know, the championship is obviously amazing. The WCW Cruiserweight Championship is great. They still gave him the oversized hands, Elite 100. We still can't get accurate hands on our Rey Mysterios unless it's gloved hands. Not my favorite gear, you know. Figure poses around immaculately. Any Rey Mysterio on this body mold is just ridiculous. They just feel so quality in the hand. That'll probably never change. Rey Mysterio has some of the best figures that you'll find on a WWE action figure shelf. And I mean that with my whole being, man. His figures are over the top. I love the gauntlets. If you guys own a Rey Mysterio Elite, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The double jointed arms and the way he moves around and just the feel in his hand. Like, I wish he was in the pick fed because that's how damn good he moves around. He's just such a, a delight to pose around and I can say that with a, my full heart on display. That, that That is one thing that will not change. But I don't know. I think these are probably worth the grab simply for the championships, but I wouldn't overpay for it. And uh, something tells me about this wave, these are all going to be highly sought after because of the championships and a lot of people are going to want these titles. So that is going to be something that really sells these figures. But at the end of the day, man, if you guys would like to grab these, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there, of course. Get in on all the deals. Put in some pre-orders. Do not order things that are not in stock with things that are in stock. Do two separate orders so that you get them while they're in stock. If you order something that's on pre-order with something that's in stock, you will not get your in-stock items until the pre-order stuff comes in. So remember that. Order pre-order stuff by itself or in-stock items by itself. It's the only way to do it. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the review. Leave me your thoughts on Elite 100, Becky Lynch, and Rey Mysterio down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never back down. We will not relent.